Hello, this is Bill Bryson with BWCACast.com. We're at the uh, Moose Lake entry point and we're heading up to Knife Lake today. We've got uh, about five or six portages that we'll have after a few hours of paddling. Uh, it's another gorgeous day out, blue sky and sun, so I'm going to be putting some sunscreen on here shortly and heading down the trail. Uh, we'll have some nice video out on the water and hopefully we'll catch some fish for dinner tonight. We'll see you on down the trail. So we've got our uh, canoe all packed up here. We're about ready to push off into the water, but I just wanted to mention that uh, if you do decide to do a trip up into Knife Lake, you have the option of renting a water taxi that can load up your canoes for you and all your gear and take you down to the other end of the lake. It'll save you a few hours of paddling for sure and uh, get you down to the other end where you can start portaging and continue your trip on where there's a little bit less commotion on the lake. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and paddle since it's a nice day out today. I uh, just wanna let you know about that option. Behind me you can see uh, Moose Lake. We've just finished paddling across there. We've only been paddling for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes probably, and we're making pretty good head time. But uh, you can see off here behind me, we've got another one of those boats passing us by. Oh, there they go, over this side. But uh, they've been carrying canoes back and forth, uh, shooting them up to uh, Basswood and Ensign, uh, different places along the way. This just cuts down on quite a bit of the uh, paddling across these lakes. But it's beautiful out and uh, couldn't ask for anything more. It's a great day to be out on the water. We just finished pad paddling through Birch Lake and we've been on the water for about three hours now. We're gonna hop on a short portage here that's gonna drop us into Carp Lake and we'll be on in through Knife. Uh, the wind started picking up a little bit on the last little bit here, so we fought the headwind. Not too bad. Uh, not like our last trip where we were fighting those big heav heavy waves in front of us, but uh, enough to keep the bugs away and kind of cool us off while we're paddling, so that was nice. Uh, Jim and Aaron already headed down the trail with the packs, so I'm going to grab the canoe and what's left here and head on down and follow them up. We just finished the 75 rod portage into Knife Lake here, and the water is just crystal clear. You, the rocks are just coming right up through you. It does, you can't even really tell how deep the water is until you step into it. It's so clear. Um, we've got a nice little falls or rapids, I guess, that's kind of going off um, out of the lake here. But we left the Moose Lake entry point this morning around 10, and it's about uh, 1.30 now, so that's pretty nice. Not bad. Looks like we'll have a little bit of a headwind as we paddle up Knife Lake, uh, looking for a campsite. But uh, we're going to do a little fishing for dinner tonight, and just enjoy being on the lake. Jim already dove into the, the rapids over here to cool off, and I'm thinking about doing the same thing. favorite things is just laying in this fast water. Uh, Knife Lake is a beautiful lake. It's the Rip Beer Ladies Lake. If anybody have read the book about Dorothy Moulter, she lived on this lake. Uh, they packed her houses out and they now stand in Ely. There's a Dorothy Moulter Museum. If you have a chance to stop in Ely, you need to go there. Knife Lake is named because of the sharp rocks uh, all around Knife Lake. The native people came to this lake from all around here to get uh, rock to make tools, knives and uh, other tools. So it's another great day and another great trip. Uh, I couldn't think of a place I'd rather be.
As we're paddling across uh, Knife Lake here, Aaron's got a lure in the water, hoping to catch us some dinner. Uh, Jim and I are paddling, and we're going to work our way along the shoreline here and see if we can find a nice campsite for the evening. in the evening we uh, finally pulled into our campsite uh, we've been paddling for quite a bit today we started this morning at 10 o'clock and um, when we got into Knife Lake we swam a little bit right off the entry point and then started paddling along looking for a camping site I'd say about 90% of them were taken along the way we passed a whole bunch of them but uh, there's a lot of folks in the lake tonight so we came across this one and it's, it's a nice little spot we've got a little island right out in front of us and it turns out Jim has actually stayed here before on one of his previous trips which is kind of crazy. We're going to hop on the lake here and cool off after our long day of paddling and then uh, we've got some hamburger rehydrating right now for dinner so we're going to enjoy that a little bit later. Tomorrow we're hoping that the weather holds out for us and we're going to try to do a little fishing and explore around the lake a little bit. Mm -hmm. 